Hello, it is Mark. Welcome to Scotch Sunday. And today we have Ardbeg. So this is the new committee release from Ardbeg. Ardbeg is an Isla single malt scotch. It means, I think, the small promontory. Uh, they use malted barley sourced from the malting um, floors in, in Port Ellen. They um, produce a lot of... A lot of their stuff is no age statement. This is, again, no age statement. It is 51.8 ABV. This is like their um, committee reserve, so there's limited. You're not, it, when it's off the shelves, it's gone. So let's go ahead and open it first. I'm not a huge, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not a huge Ardbeg fan. I think they need to age their whiskey a little bit more. Um, but, you know, they were one of the first Isla Scotches that I really did like. Uh, but then I discovered Glenlivet. And, I mean, Lagavulin. I don't know why I said Glenlivet. Because I think I just had some Glenlivet. So, okay. So, I'll go ahead and roll it. Get it off the glass. Okay. Um, they only have two stills. One wash and one spirit. But they did finish two new stills last year, so they'll probably start producing more scotch. They began distilling in 1798, and commercial production began in 1815. Production was halted in 1981, resumed in 1989, but at a lower level, which is why I guess they just have the two stills. In, they were, in 1987, they were purchased by Glen Morangy, but they are now owned by Lily of which I guess maybe they own Glen Morangy also. Um, so, okay, so Ardbeg, committee release, they release their committee releases once a year, um, I think last year was the black, so this year's just the Ardbeg, and it's got a little pirate on the label, uh, I could show, it's green, so really showing you the colors, useless, um, so, but this is finished fully matured in rye casks, no color and no chill filtration, so, that's what we got. So let's go ahead. Oh, you can see the bottle up close. Um, our bag. Some of the, I think the in some of the countries, they, he's not holding the bottle because I think it's not legal in some countries to do that. Maybe I, I'm not sure, but um, I did see that online that some people said that that was a different. There is a different label, and uh, so yeah, this is pretty much 51 points. This is going to burn. A little bit and no color so rye casks rye cask finish and uh, rye cask and uh we'll see what this gives us so all right we'll go into the nose i don't need that anymore okay i'm gonna say smoke more than peat It's got some sweetness in there. Absolutely, it's some definitely some vanilla. I'm really surprised how much vanilla. There's a lot of vanilla in there. Definitely got a seaside influence. All right, give it a second here. I've been inhaling that too much. All right, let's see here. There's definitely some fruit in there, though. So, vanilla. There is just so more vanilla than I expected. But there is that briny seaside, seaweedy aroma in there. It doesn't have the Lafroigi band aid, but. Uh, Oh, I don't think I even read you the label, did I? Let's see if it says anything. There's very little, because after 13 years at the helm, the legendary distiller, distillery manager and committee chairman is departing. It's true, the captain of the good ship Ardbeg is retiring. Mickey's leaving and has been 
and has been hard to fathom for all the crew, but to commemorate the skipper and his service, we have created an extra special bottle of Arbeg, a treasure fit to, for even the saltiest of sea dogs. Fully matured in ex-rye casks, timbered smoked banana and pear drift into vanilla and rye on the nose. A spicy mouthful hosts up and ignites a blunderous blender bus of fruity flavors and armada, ar armada of anise seed is tallied by smoked toffee and distinct hint of sourdough biscuits. Long finish lingers with gentle smoke listening on the palate. All right, so yeah, definitely getting that vanilla. Yeah, there's, hmm, what did they, they said banana? Is that what they said? Banana. I, to me, it, it's more pineapple than banana. Eh, okay. I'll go with it. Yeah, I can get that. But the vanilla really just... I'm really shocked. I, I, I just didn't expect that much vanilla. The smoke, the vanilla, it's really... It's not the peat more than the smoke. So Okay, enough of that nonsense. Let's go to taste. It definitely comes through with pepper. Definitely get more of the, the smokiness, the peatiness. Oakiness. It is still sweet. It smelt better than it tasted. Finish is short. A little bit of, I don't know, maybe... What I say on the finish there, kind of a reminds me of a Jamocha shake, like that creamy, like I'm used to, Arby's used to have that Jamocha shake, that chocolate and coffee creaminess. But all right, anything else on the nose? Hmm, so I'm a little bit of toffee now, but. Okay. So, all right. Really peppery. There's a, some, yeah, a little bit of that toffee coming through more. Less of the barbecue kind of smoky, peaty stuff. A little bit more toffee, pepper, some chocolate. Okay. I really expected more spiciness, being that it was finished in rye casks. Um, really wasn't there. So, okay. Would I buy this again? Again, I'm not a huge Ardbed fan. I'm probably not the one to judge that. Um, but uh, I will give it a six. Six stars. Six out of ten. We will see you next time.